Hello, everybody. Hello, YouTube. Hello, art history enthusiasts and visual culture aficionados. It's me again, Miss M. And I'm back with yet another video. Hello again, everybody. I hope everybody's doing great. And before I forget, Happy Halloween. I'm making this video the day before, so All Hallows Eve Eve, uh, Sunday night, October 30th. I have, I still have a bunch of shit to do. I'm still busy like hell, but I, I realized, oh my God, tomorrow's Halloween. And it's one of my favorite holidays, period. It's one of my favorite holidays. And I said to myself, no, 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 no. You can't let Halloween go by without making at least something of a video to, you know, add to the celebration. It's a very special holiday. You know, uh, people all over America get to be um, kids again tomorrow. They get to dress up. They um, Everybody thinks Halloween is for the kids. Uh, I guess it is. It is in large part, but it's for the it's for the grown ups too. We like it too. Tomorrow you get to dress up as what you really wish you could be in life. Yeah, you get to express yourself uh, in a way that you might not even be aware of. Tomorrow, when you pick your costume and you put it on and you do whatever, you just you know go to a party, go to an event, uh, go trick or treating with your kids, hang out on the porch with your buddies, drinking beer and eating little fun sized candy bars, whatever, whatever you're doing tomorrow. I hope you have a marvelous time um, and embrace being who you who you really are uh deep down on the inside that one day a year that one day a year when uh, it is literally according to the lore according to the legend the one day a year halloween when it is literally pandemonium and pan what does pandemonium mean you can look it up or i could just tell you um it means when the spirits come come back to earth and take over and cause all kinds of madness and trouble and etc cetera, etc cetera. that's pandemonium um <clears throat> so enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it it only comes once a year i know it feels like a whole month but it isn't that rest of that month is just buying shit at the store uh, tomorrow's the real deal. So enjoy it. If you decorate it, enjoy your decorations. If you went to the store and bought pumpkin shaped bowls and plates and cups, like I'm female, that's what we do. We love our decor. Um, <laughs> um, you know, enjoy that. Enjoy throwing your little party. Enjoy having your little drinks and whatever's, whatever you're doing tomorrow. It's, 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 a day to be happy enjoy if, if you're not doing very much of anything you're not a very social person or that's fine too that's awesome uh, enjoy watching some scary movies and eating some candy corn or whatever you're into whatever you're into just have a great day i wish the best day for you tomorrow um and with that being said like yeah hello again i'm doing this video um, I decided to like feature a spooky movie. I don't think, I don't know whether or not I'll review it or just talk about it and bring it to your attention. If you don't know about it, it is a shining related, um, thing. So <laughs> I must, my channel is just becoming the shining channel. You know, I, I, I'm okay with that, but I got to get back to like doing some more shit that is not shining related. Uh, not that I don't like the shining, you know, I love the shining, but I love art crimes too. I like, uh, trying to figure out like how all these bastards are stealing money from people using art to do it i love my viewer mail videos i'm gonna do that too i, I got some great comments today y'all who commented commented today thank you i appreciate it so much and as you can see i'm up to 142 subscribers that looks like nothing and it is nothing for most other channels for me I am just over the moon happy. Thank you for subscribing. Let me get into the church announcements while I'm here. Thank you so much for liking, uh, commenting, sharing, subscribing, etc., etc., so on and so forth. I appreciate it so much. Uh, returning viewers, thank you for returning. New viewers, thank you for being new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that so very, very, very much. You wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe how much I appreciate it. And look at what happened. I didn't even know this surprised the hell out of me. Maybe you guys too, when you saw it, um, I can do posts now. I can do community posts here on YouTube. Uh, somebody like talked about Hieronymus Bosch and I put this here. Thank you. The one, the person who suggested it. I 
uh, sh showcased one of my favorite, like, epic works of art of all time, um, the Isenheim altarpiece. It, this is gory. This is so gory. I showcased my favorite movie director's photography. This is from his earlier life as a as a young photographer, right? Check it out. Isn't this is just so classy? I don't know about you guys. Like I would love to copy this look, her hair, her suit, like everything about this lady. This is just this is class. It sure is. Oh, and Morticia. Yeah, this is when I found out that I have a community page now and I can use it. This is how surprised I was. Look at her eyes. Yep. Yeah, that was me. When I found out that I could actually do posts, I was like, well, how did this happen? But I don't know how it happened, but I'm glad it did. Now I do posts almost every day. Um, <clears throat> loving it. Loving it. Um, let me go to my about page since I'm doing church announcements. Don't forget my other stuff. My blog is a damn mess. It, it's like a ghost town, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this. But check out my Twitter. Check out my IG uh, Pinterest, same thing. Like I, I, I made one and then I abandoned it. But Twitter and IG are a little more recent, up to date. I get, I get, um, I get all my real housewives gossip on Twitter. I gotta buy, I got a coffee one. Yes, this is this is the tip jar. I guess buy me a coffee. If you if you want to, feel free. If you don't want to, that's okay. You're being here is enough for me. Spotify. I wanted to talk about this. Um, in my other like life, I share music with people in my you know um my musical tastes so check click on the spotify button up here or down here and you know you can get an idea here i am i'm not logged in so i have one follower here i don't i see by the web okay hey i see by the web if you're watching my videos but if you if you're in here and you're logged in you can go to my playlist or whatever and, and there's something called an art history playlist that's my jams that's my jams. Everything is on there. And while I'm still on church announcements, this is the paid promotion portion of the video. And today I'm featuring some stuff because I'm featuring uh, this individual's work, Fritz Lang, the silent films, Blu-ray, if you're interested. Uh, I guess it's 50% off, Lord. I guess they're trying to get rid of it. Don't matter. I love Fritz Lang. You might love him too. Um, this is something I would like possibly for myself one day to buy. When I look at this stuff that I bring to you with my little Amazon um, affiliates thing, paid promotions thing, I'm not, I'm kind of like doing my own shopping <laughs> and browsing and then like putting it up here in the videos and like, hey, maybe you'll like it too. So here it is, Fritz Lang. Um, the titles on this disc are, it's a 12 disc collection, including Metropolis, classic, Die Nibelungen, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Spies, Dr. Mabuza, the Gambler, Destiny, the Spiders, Woman in the Moon, Four Around the Woman, Harakiri, the Wandering Shadow, and the Plague of Florence. Um, not, that doesn't have the one that I'm showcasing today, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is something to consider if you're a big uh, old-time movie fan. Yeah, there is this. This is what we're going to be talking about today. That's why I'm including it in the um, church announcements. M, the Criterion Collection. M with Peter Lorre and all these other people directed by Fritz Lang. Y'all, y'all, if you haven't watched this movie, if you haven't watched any Fritz Lang movies, I suggest you get to it. This is not, uh, I'm not, I'm not playing with you. This is serious. You must. You must, you absolutely must watch Fritz Lang movies and all these other old time classic movies from, you know, this is a German film director. This is not an American film director, but my goodness, the impact he made on American cinema and specifically one of the movies that I discuss very, very much uh, on my channel. And that's why I'm talking about, going to talk about this movie a little bit today in my holiday uh, video for this year right the the halloween post also this so let me get let me get the church announcements like out the way out the way um metropolis directed by fritz lang but this is not the movie this is a 500 piece puzzle of the fritz lang metropolis like i guess movie poster it's only 60 dollars, so like you know what the hey um <laughs> i say 59.99 i i see I, I i don't like that i don't like that bullshit i say 59.99 i say no no 60 60 
let's be real here we're all grown-ups at sixty dollars um limited edition factory sealed metropolis 500 piece puzzle that great influential science fiction film of the future by fritz lang you guys if you're into jigsaw puzzles if you're into like you know table games board games stuff like that this and you're and you're also into classic film yeah this might just be the thing for you or something for somebody that you love you know the holidays are coming up right after halloween that's when like extended christmas starts i know we're supposed to get through with thanksgiving first but like seriously really come on come on like thanksgiving is christmas part one and christmas is like christmas christmas is christmas like the sequel or whatever i don't know it <clears throat> here this is a great stocking stuffer you're welcome all right you're, you're welcome now you know what to buy people that are into this kind of thing for christmas uh okay so where are we now and what are we doing where are we going with this and why uh like i said today i am going to feature a spooky scary movie by fritz lang the the late great fritz lang uh this one and it's available on youtube it sure is it m m i call myself lady miss m or, or miss m um because like i'm not telling you my real name but it's not because of this movie i i just like liked it and i, I chose that i guess handle uh here because you know it sounds you know kind of old-timey and mysterious kind of film noir and then this movie i watched this a long time ago right i watched this a long 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 time ago um when i was like watching movies like pretty frequently in all old movies and when i saw this thing um from 1931 as it says here this is german with english subs um I was just blown away. I was watching so many good movies at the time. I need to get back into that. M, the full movie, black and white, mystery slash suspense, Fritz Lang, Peter Lorre, German with English subs. I'm not going to show the name of the channel that is featuring this because I don't want it to get taken down. But this is plenty information, plenty enough information for you to be able to go and find it. Keyword search it if you want to watch this for free. I'm going, yeah. So the if if the if the creator or the uploader of this movie is watching, I'm not trying to not shout you out, but you like if you're a YouTube person, you know why. Like you know how how weird they are about shit. So <clears throat> let me just leave that there. Watch this, especially if you're a shining aficionado. Please watch this because this will become extremely important later when I do. I know we're not even close to that yet. I'm only on episode seven on understand of understanding the shining. But I'm going to get to like that later episode one day. And this is your homework. You must watch this movie and you must enjoy it. Like, why wouldn't you? Um, I am thoroughly and utterly and deeply and, and completely convinced that Stanley Kubrick is citing other movie makers, other filmmakers, other directors, other classic movies from the 20th century, you know, since the inception of film creation movie making of course he is he's probably like he was probably encyclopedic as far as his knowledge was of the film arts you know and this is definitely he's referencing this in the movie later on later on we'll get to it but i wanted to show you this today for my spooky episode halloween episode and i've got all these little links lined up m 1931 film a uh, German thriller film directed by Fritz Lang, starring Peter Lorre in his breakthrough role as Hans Beckert, a serial killer of children. Okay? Even today, this is a controversial movie. Even today, like, whatever he's dealing with, whatever Fritz was dealing with in this movie is not easy to talk about an early example of procedural drama the film centers on the manha manhunt for Laurie's character conducted by both the police and the criminal underworld this part is the most interesting part the other criminals catch him i'm not going to give away the ending especially if you've never seen it but this movie blew me away this is like street justice all right i work okay you guys is it story time? 
but not really. Whatever. I might as well. It's Halloween. I work with some rough people. Okay. I work with. In, I'm not a rough person. No, I'm 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 a real cream puff actually. But I were I the Lord the the God put me in a position in a place in this life where I am in regular uh, contact with people who have lived life. I'll just put it that way. And they've done, they've been there, they've done that. They got the t-shirt, they sent you a postcard because you, you know, you're, you're never going to be, you're, you're never going to travel to where they've been. Most of us are not, you know, they've been to war, they've been incarcerated, they've been homeless, they've all kinds of, all kinds of stuff, the folks that I work with. And this street justice, this, vi not vigilante, no, the criminal underworld these two parallel kind of machines working in society, both like, you know, the, the, the legitimate uh, law enforcement people, like the police and whatever. And then there's like the under, the, the underworld, like criminal underworld, the, the crime syndicates, and they have their own set of rules and regulations that are very strict. You know, this movie, talks about that yeah For, you know forget like Mario Puzo forget the Godfather like this is kind of where this this idea of the criminal underworld and and the hierarchy and the power structure of the criminal underworld and the rules that they follow that they've made for themselves or whatever and they they're very strict about their own rules this is where we first kind of see that or one of the first places that we see that in cinema right crazy and the letter m is extremely important here right i won't give it away i won't give it away because i'm going to talk about this in the context of the shining when we get to that part of the movie okay um please go ahead and click on this read this it's a long read so i'm trying to make this as short as possible um this this film the film my ass this video today on youtube I'm trying to make it as short as possible so i'm not going to read through this whole thing but i'm i urge you to go ahead and read through this. Also, I got the IMDb uh, page up on here. IMDb M, original title, original title, M, Eine Stadt sucht einen Mörder. Okay, cool. Yeah, they've got the trailer up here. I'm not going to show you too much of it because it might reveal too much. And uh, when the police in Germany are unable, when, a, when the police in a German city are unable to catch a child murderer. Other criminals join in the manhunt. It's intense. It's good. It is good. It, it, and there's a lot of philo philosophical and ethical questions that are asked by this filmmaker in this movie. It's worth it just for that. But it's also just like suspenseful. Okay, this Fritz Lang character, fellow, he really knew what he was doing. He really knew how to grab your attention. And like, you, he doesn't let you go. It doesn't let you go until the very last second of the film. All right, that's how good this is. Um, so go ahead and check out the IMDb if you want like technical information about the movie and names and places or whatever, right? There's the Criterion Collection, this this page on Criterion.com about the movie. And I guess, is this oh yeah they're selling <laughs> okay cool they're selling a blu-ray or a dvd like thing for this so this is their intro for it a simple haunting musical phrase whistled off screen tells us that a young girl will be killed who is the murderer pleads a nearby placard as serial killer hans beckert peter lorre closes in on little elsie beckman in his harrowing masterwork, M. Fritz Lang merges trenchant social commentary with chilling suspense, creating a panorama of private madness and public hysteria that to this day remains the blueprint for the psychological thriller. Do you think for one second that Stanley Kubrick didn't learn from this movie? Come on now. Okay, here's another criterion, Collection. Um page for this a simple hunting okay yeah i think i already read that um so there's this right the, and there's uh, videos related to this if you're interested interested in it i've put that here for you okay so i'm gonna put both of these links up 
Um, so you can look at them, you know, if you're interested in learning about this movie and you know cinema film history, right? And you 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 could you could bet you could bet for damn sure that Stanley was aware of this and a bunch of the others that I've mentioned and that I probably am not even aware of that he's citing in this in the shining movie he's shy, he's citing this movie fritz lang m i th like i said the haunting with uh you know the the adaptation of the shirley jackson novel and i have already talked about the imamura movie um i think it's called the human insect i could be wrong but i'm de i definitely think he's citing that too with the bug uh trotting up the hill up the mountain right on uh, with Jack on his way to his interview and then the family on their way to the hotel later yep um there's probably more Nosferatu I he's but he's mentioning that too that's been making the rounds on the internet how like you know Wendy's shadow um is shown in a certain way when she's climbing up the stairs after you know in that part of The Shining and it's almost exactly visually similar set the same to Nosferatu's shadow when he's climbing the stairs or whatever in the in the Nos or not Nosferatu Count Orlock in, in the Nosferatu movie okay so Stanley is is he's not he's not kidding around he's he's basically identified Wendy as a bloodsucker as a as a vampire and like get the hell out of her way she's no good right so i wish i had more time to talk about this you know um i want to get back into watching these like glorious old movies again right you guys i i really like well i'll just go ahead and let the trailer play for you here while i talk you might as well have something to watch while while you're listening to me blather on um you guys i i like i said i i want to get back into watching these old movies enjoying them whatever and i love doing the shining thing and i'm doing that for a reason i think i like to think i'm making at least a bit little bit of contribution to the shining kind of discussion i maybe even all over the world on the internet um and i'm doing kill bill i'm gonna do full metal jacket i did a little bit of the exorcist not nearly as well as exorcist reviews um my my stuff is like mm -mm, no if you want an exorcist scholar go to his channel i'm shouting you out uh exorcist reviews so you know he's he's really amazing he's really 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 amazing and i i think every you should watch every single last one of his videos on that subject um what else oh yeah that's what i was talking about i want to get back into watching these wonderful classic old movies uh and if you guys have requests maybe it's not a classic movie maybe it's a newer movie or just something you like please try to make it not like you know, I'm not going to review, uh, I, it, let me, let me finish my thought. Um, if you want me to review a movie, let me know, you know, let me go back to my, where's my page here. I am. Yeah. Business inquiries. It doesn't have to be a business inquiry. You can just like drop me an email, um, and say, Hey, review this movie or review that TV show or review that work of art. Uh, you know, somebody asked for, is it Derek? I think it was Derek. Hold on. Where are you? Yeah. There you are, Derek. Yeah, he said, you know, he wanted to see Hieronymus Bosch. And then, you know, the next day I brought you Hieronymus Bosch. Um, so, you know, like, if you have a movie that you want me to do, let me know in the comments or drop me an email. You want me to review a movie? I'm open to that. I'm, I'm into that. If you want me to review a work of art, let me know. Or like tell you a little bit about a work of art or interpret it in my way I can do that I sure can um, TV show classic classic TV show please don't give me like something that's brand new because I, I I don't know when's the last time I watched like brand new TV um, but yeah let me let me do that if you want me to do that let me know if you're into that uh, I would love to I would absolutely love to but I don't want to make videos that like nobody wants to watch I've already been doing that for like since I started this channel so if if you have a request I'm very open to it but I don't I'm not gonna review anything that's like too you know adult yeah I, I, I that's why I like to concentrate on old movies like everybody can enjoy old movies including kids 
they don't have to, you don't have to worry about whether or not there's going to be any nudity or any vi like really serious violence or anything like you could show you yeah even even a movie like m if you show it to a kid like they're not going to be traumatized by it <laughs> or or even nosferatu or whatever um these newer movies lord hereditary oh no you would not show that to a child now would you a full metal jacket no no wouldn't show that to a kid either so but like you know these old old movies yes so uh, like i said if you have any requests <sighs> please let me know they've they've rolled this on into another trailer haven't they I'm not even paying it oh is this casablanca okay whatever um so you guys you know let me know let me know if you want me to review something i am here for it definitely here for it um you know here for t definitely here for it i haven't reviewed the monsters movie and i'm not gonna I've decided no. I cannot wait to make another coffee break. Some of the comments that I got today were so interesting. I cannot wait to do a viewer mail coffee break. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Like I said, another another installment of Understanding the Shining is coming up. Another installment of Kill Bill is coming up. Another coffee break is coming up. What else? Possibly another, you know, FMJ. I'm going to get into that. And if you want me to do a, re a review of, you know, some favorite movie of yours let me know in, in whatever way you can contact me um check out my spotify check out all the other links i told you about check these out if you're interested i am interested we shall see i already know which move like which book i want to buy of the ones that i've been showing to you and you guys last but not least i started out by saying happy halloween and i got finished by saying happy halloween to expect this picture it's so cute in one of my community posts um so i've said everything that i wanted to say today uh check out m check out all the fritz lang stuff um i am so um, uh, over the moon thankful for all the subscribers all the likes all the comments all the stuff it means a great deal to me and i'm happy that I've seen some comments people are saying yeah you love the the videos and whatever that just that just warms my heart so um I guess that's it happy Halloween have a great day have a great party and if you're not partying just enjoy some free time and some spooky movies uh only comes once a year so until next time you guys until next time when I find yet another reason to talk at you uh, aimlessly uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bid you bye-bye. So, bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>